Usually when we're doing uh, quantum physics, we're thinking about a quantum system being us and say our laboratory or us and, and the particles around us. But we imagine that there's actually a quantum state for the whole universe all at once and that we're just a subsystem of that whole universe. And Hartle and Hawking came up with this beautiful idea, this beautiful proposal for how to prescribe what's a natural state for the whole universe. What state could be our origins? I've been studying how does the no boundary state, how does this proposal help us understand entropy and information in, uh, that's associated to observers like us. And so this is a fundamentally confusing topic to think about what's the role of us as observers in this big quantum universe. And so I can get lost in terms of, you know, what is the, like, what, what is physically measurable? What is the physics uh, going on? And what are the things that are, is just the math behind the physics? One thing that happens when talking with Juan is he's able to both be extremely precise in terms of what he means mathematically, but also at the same time have this way of being fuzzy enough that you can come up with there's room for ideas that you haven't thought of before, and there's room for not being in the confines of mathematical rigor, which can lead you to new physical insights.